Hey you guys, I hope all is well with you all. I'm doing well on this side. I wanted to come through and talk to you guys just to see what's going on. Um, the life journey that we all chooses um, and the process and what we have to go through to get to it. Vision, venture, and victory. Those are the three V's that we have to experience in this life. Um, having a vision of what you desire or are looking for and the venture to get to and then you have the victory. And I get that quote from my husband. Thanks, darling. Um, you guys... A lot of you guys like to, you know, ask me questions about what herb should I use for this or what should I use for that. A lot of times we don't uh, really think about the cause. So what is the cause of ailments that happen in the body? Um, because we can get a remedy, right? Um, very much so and um, but if I continue to do the thing that caused the issue then I will have to deal with the same results and it could be at a greater capacity of what I dealt with or you have dealt with before um, a lot of people like today is so much information out here um, so I don't really talk about a lot of stuff, but I'm like, I need to do what I used to. I, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I talk to people. I do consultations and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, just help somebody with uh, a diabetes scare. They saw results. You know, it, it's just a matter of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's I, I say if you listen, you know, I'm... Yeah, they gave me a title, Master Herbalist. Um, I have a nutrition uh, certificate, but I'm always still a student. I'm always studying. So I don't always come on here talking about a lot of things because I'm always researching and studying. Not always, not 24 hours, but I do spend a great deal of studying or researching different things um, that I care about. So we have to be conscious of because i remember times in my life where i was just eating and not conscious not being present and then you realize oh my gosh i ate a whole bag of chips you know what i'm saying um what i have come to understand because you will see me on this on my channel this channel right here talk about fat you know eating a lot of fat and stuff like that um but i come to the conclusion from the research and, and from personal experience and from experience with others um that eating a lot of fat is not great it's not a good thing for the temple you know i've come to the conclusion um a lot of times you don't because you're young you may be in your 20s and 30s i have a lot of people in their maybe late 20s early 30s watch my videos um and thank you guys and girls <laughs> who watches my channel i appreciate it but you may not feel the effect and this is where the trick comes not necessarily a trick but this is where the puzzle or the I can eat anything I want situation because they made it, I can eat it because they say it's food, I'm gonna eat it, you know. Um, so we get in a we get in a situation. A situation can come about. Um, I noticed the great part of my life of healing has always been when I eat raw foods, not food that has been heated 
over above 118 or if I heat it up a little above 18 because um, you don't know what you get when you're buying stuff as well but for myself what I have done like I might uh, okay is this going to stop what I have done for myself is a uh, like I might heat it up maybe 150 for an hour, not 150, 145, 130, somewhere in there. Uh, Cause I don't even think my dehydrator go that high. But anyway, if it does, I don't, oh, you know, I don't do this like it's uh, a thing that I does. I do it sometimes if I'm trying to get something going for an hour, I will run it to, I would say 145 for an hour and then I'll crank it back to 118. So I don't want to lose the enzymes. And there's controversy out here about food that's being cooked and food that is not being cooked. There is no changing in the structure. But for me and from the experience that I've had and the people who have listened and done what I said, they have seen the results. So the proof is in the pudding, okay? So um, you may not see a, an effect right away on the body. Um, so I tell you today to be conscious of what you're eating and, oh God, I hope my video will not stop. Okay, I'm still going. <laughs> Please, I know, I know, I know. I guess I could stop it and come back. I keep getting distracted, that's why I'm, Okay. Okay. Maybe the other phone's gonna ring. But anyway, um, be conscious, be present, chew your food up. That's something I have to. When I'm eating my salads, I'm like chew, chew, chew because the digestion changes. You know what I'm saying? As you get older. I did a video a couple years, probably about four years ago, talking about, um, you know, preparing your body. Like we can't, we cannot, we can do whatever we want to, you understand? Because I'm not the police for nobody, but I am here for those who want to know. I'm here to speak to those who want to hear, not those who don't want to hear, okay? This is it's not for everybody. It's just for the people it's for. Um, when you're young, it's best to start your body out, a child, baby, body out. I'm getting a lot of notifications. I apologize. Distractions. Um, with being healed you know, because babies today are coming out being compromised. Like, it's inedible. Like, you just can't get away from it. You may not see things right away, but within the 25 year span, you will see a difference in the child's body or the person's body. They're not being made the same. I said that four or five years ago. I used to think that like children coming out today is different than they are. Why? Because of the consumptions of the parents. Being conscious, where is this from? And what was the process of it? You know what I'm saying? Of the food that I'm consuming. So we have to be conscious. So if you have, if you're a young person or old, it don't even matter today, but you can start rebuilding your DNA, rebuilding your cells. Um, I used to say, how I'm pregnant, how do my baby, why am I craving a Coke soda? Uh, especially uh, with Adriana, I was eating raw foods prior, like probably three, four months before I got pregnant with her. And I couldn't understand, how could I be craving donuts? It was in my cells. My cells remembered it. So it's not the baby craving it. No, it was already in my blood cells. So 
the craving, the remembering was there. So this is where you're craving stuff that you didn't normally eat. Some people eat chalk and dirt and grass and all kind of stuff. Um, one, because they're missing minerals and nutrients um, that the baby is leaching like calcium and, you know, people, I mean, it's really serious. So if we're not being conscious of eating living foods, live foods, um, it will take a toll eventually on the body. Um, I've noticed with my own self, I had a knee injury years ago and me eating things that was said was alkaline, um, which inside consciously, I felt like this is not 100% what it was said to be. Um, I realized I started having little things to happen. Like my knee, I couldn't even walk, you know. Uh, just And I was eating healthy and clean, uh, alkaline. But I was eating a lot of oils and pasta, all vegan. And the oil would be like maybe the uh, oysters were um, deep fried or pan fried not necessarily i wasn't eating a bunch of deep fried stuff but they they probably was pan fried um and i probably got a video on here with me cooking some oysters i don't know i'm sure i do um i would was eating the wraps which had oil in it um that was a time i also was eating what they called um blood type eating for your blood type you know I, I it's like no this is not right either because i just like no i i don't agree with this i i don't agree like this don't make any sense how could the blood type be a, the thing okay i i just i i didn't agree with that um then i did the the uh I told you I'm a scientist. I'm an explorer. I'm going to do me first. I got to check me out. You know, I'm going to be the guinea pig. I'm going to do all the things that I need to do. Just like I do my herbs, I do everything else. I'm not going to talk about what I don't know um, in the research, not just myself, but other people that I talk to and deal with and uh, counsel and things of that nature. Um, consultation. Um... Where is the nightshade? You know, no peppers, tomatoes. Um, and I believe, this is my belief and my researching, um, everything does stem from your gut, okay? Uh, it stems from your lymphatic system, your body uh, releasing toxins and the things that we have consumed over the years, whether it's uh meats and butters and you know go down the list of flowers and sugars and you know all these different things they become toxic to the body because it's already toxic it's like the body can only deal with so much right and then it catches up and i tell people oh it, it's gonna catch up you may not feel and this is what i was saying in the beginning you may not feel well, in this video you may not feel it right away so you feel like oh well, i could eat this or i could do this but over the time over the years and nowadays the younger people don't have the time that the older people had prior years and years and years of doing the things that we thought was healthy for us they don't have that time babies coming out with the C or diabetes, all these different other illnesses. You know, they're coming out compromised. They're coming out compromised. Where did that come from? And if you're not preparing your body, I'm talking about at least four or five years before you even think about having a baby. You know what I'm saying? Even the fathers, you have to be 
cleansed of all the toxin, all the things that we were told, oh, we can eat this, this, this food. Check this out, you guys. And I'm not knocking anybody. Just something for you to think about, as Dave Calloway says. Um, who, why do we choose certain animals to consume? Why, like, why we don't eat dogs? And then some people do. Why we don't eat uh, bears? Or why we don't eat... Uh, what can I say? I don't even... Some people eat... Um, what is it? Parrots. Why, why we don't eat... Why we don't eat the blowfish? Oh, some people may do. Why we don't? Why is it certain things that are chosen that has two eyes and a nose and a mouth and a family just like you? And why they don't lay their life down like the fruit just fall on the ground for us to get, <laughs> and then the nuts and stuff. Like these things, like get me. You know what I'm saying? I just just think about that. Like why why we choose. Why we choose a goat? Why we choose a pig? Why we choose the chicken? And these things run away. Like they don't come and give their life to us. My baby, I call it, she's my baby still. <laughs> um, she's 11 now. But we went to go to a farm. It was like a, a food stand. or, And we were walking up, it was a couple years ago. We were walking up and everything, and she was like, oh, look at the chicken. And it was like nice and fluffy and beautiful little chicken. And she was going to it, and it was running towards her to peck her because the owner said the chicken is protecting his daughter because he, he's protecting his little baby chick. And which was, a, you know, probably was a little teenage, I don't know, in the chicken years, I don't know. But he was protecting her so so don't nobody come and get her. It's like this this chicken got a conscious, like it has a mind. It has skills of protection. Me and my daughter also, we just saw a video of deers. They were, they call them Florida, no, they call them key deers, and I think they're just regular deers. But one was standing on top of the other's back to reach the leaves to eat. Like, what? Hey, don't we do that? <laughs> we'll stand on each other's back to get a fruit if we can. I'm saying if they, you know, you ain't big or whatever. But I'm like, what we was like, wow, these are some well conscious thinking animals. That we think they don't have a conscience. And this is why I learned that animals have feelings. I I didn't think dogs had feelings. I didn't I didn't I just was dog. Well, it's a dog. Like and what? You know, I love them. But they didn't and they, they don't cry. <laughs> dogs don't mourn. So one day we had a, a dog smoky um we had just moved in our new home and everything with the pool and so we let I let Smokey out. It was like Smokey and my dog, my sister's dog. We had we had her because my sister had just passed. So anyway, I let the dogs out. It was six thirty in the morning. It was dark and I'm letting them out to go to the bathroom. The yard is fenced in. I wasn't thinking about the pool. The dog can fall in the pool and I thought dogs can swim. Anyway, I just wasn't thinking. First time being a pool, pool owner with a dog. So when I get up, you know, probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock, I go to let them back in the house. No, I looked out the window and I see the dog running around, running around the pool. The, the other dog, Princess, she's running around I'm like what is this crazy dog doing why is this crazy dog running around the pool the dog was running around the pool because our dog Smokey had fell in the pool and he drowned 
that was a sad day. And what we noticed, we noticed that princess, when my neighbor came and pulled the, out, pulled him out of the pool, princess came and laid by him. And that night she was crying. She was crying for her friend. I was like, wow. I didn't know dogs have feelings like I, I just I just didn't know. I'm like, wow, that was my first experience to know that animals are conscious. Animals have feelings. Animals have families. Animals mourn. You know, animals try to run away. I said, why we don't choose? And this ain't to hit knock at any, you know, anybody. I'm just stuff to make you think. Why 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 do the animals run away to to save their life as a human would not go to another human and just say you can kill me and eat me like why we don't chase out the another human because they they got eyes and a nose and a mouth and family i know people do that i know that's a question out there you know that this is a known thing cannibalist I, I know it's out there okay but why why we don't see that i'm just stuff to think about does this make sense and what is the cause of all of the things what is the cause and what is the cure or what is the you know there's uh when I say, I'm talking, what is the, how to fix it? How to fix the problem? Because we got to be careful with these words that we say. It's crazy, but that's what we're living in. But what is the fixer of it? So, yeah. Just something to make you guys think about. And I just put together an awesome recipe, you guys. Maybe I'll come and show you guys what I did. Oh, God. Um, what I did uh, in that video. I don't know. It's a simple... Uh, maybe I'll show you guys. I don't know. Um, we'll see how, how, I, how I work it out. But anyway, thank you guys for coming through and watching. And what do you guys think about what I shared in this video? Um... I got a lot of more things. I'm, let me stop saying that. But anyway, what do you guys have to say about this? Whether it's on or off, you know, you agree or disagree. Just let's talk. Let's discuss this in the comment section, okay? Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. What are your thoughts? What is your experience? Um, let me know. Uh, you guys can follow me on TikTok, Love One Way. I don't really be on there like that, I, you know, but I will be posting more videos, hopefully. Um, I'm on Instagram. If y'all want that information, I'll be forgetting what's the name. If y'all want to know, let me know in the bottom of this video. I mostly, I, I haven't been on there that much, but... I, you know, that's why I mostly post. You'll see me posting more over there than I do on YouTube, okay? I'm trying to do more community stuff as well on YouTube. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Thousand Roses. Peace. I send my love. I send love. Peace. Love to you. Peace and love to you. Walk in your light. Walk in your light. Walk in your light. Yes, yes. Walk in it and I... Send my love to you guys. Thousand roses. Peace, baby. Take care.